This is the card. A lot of people do think that crypto is a drug sniffing dog. It brightens their day. Meet Crypto, a very special therapy dog who works for an airport. And this is his mom, therapy dog advocate and trainer, Amy Coving. We meet them both today on Industry Pets. Welcome to the show, Amy Covington, owner of Crypto. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. How are you? Doing wonderful. I'm so happy to have you here. Uh, you have the most amazing dog and some really amazing stories to share. All right. So Crypto is an amazing dog because he works for an airport. Uh -huh. how, how does that happen and what does he do for the airport? Because I don't think he flies. He does not fly. Um, so basically, he is there for the passengers. So, you know, I don't know if you've ever been into an airport. Maybe you've been nervous or you've been with other people who have been nervous. So he's there literally just to comfort them and to make them, you know, smile right before they're about to board. And then the other part is he's there just if people like dogs. Yeah, so he gets a lot of love. And yeah, as far as how he got there, that's that's kind of a longer story. <laughs> yeah, well, I would love to know and they would love to know. I mean, how does one become an airport dog? This is kind of unique. I've never heard of it besides the drug sniffing dog. <laughs> So um, there are a few of the airports, they're now becoming more popular, um, but I will be honest, a lot of people do think that Crypto is a drug sniffing dog <laughs> until they realize, no, they can actually pet him. He would be a horrible drug sniffing dog. Um, <laughs> but basically how we got started was a long, long time ago, whenever this was about eight and a half years ago now. Um, my fiance at the time got me a dog and I was always a cat person. I'm like, great. I love this. This is awesome. This is a fluffy thing. What do I do with it? <laughs> so basically we go to the pet store. The person's like, Hey, you know, I think you might want to do training with him. I'm like, sounds great. Cause I don't know really what I'm doing, but that was crypto's brother, captain. So move forward, you know, I get him trained, then I get Crypto, another little fluffy dog. And um, I decided to take him through the therapy dog courses as well. So at the time, um, you're right, there, there really isn't a whole lot of information about therapy dogs out there right now. A lot of people don't even know, you know, that they're really a thing. Um, you know, they sometimes mistake them for service dogs or emotional support dogs because, you know, the service dogs are for one person, emotional support dogs for one person, but therapy dogs are for everyone, which is the, the big difference. Yeah, I just basically started my own group here and I got more people involved, you know, help get others certified. I eventually became an evaluator myself and um, the word just kind of got around. So someone at the airport heard, heard about it and they reached out to me and they're like, hey, we would like to start a therapy dog program. What should we do? So that's how it started. That's amazing. And there's so, so much anxiety with the flight and I've flown a million mm -hmm. times every single time. I'm anxious. Mm -hmm. And give me some crypto stories at the airport. Yes, there are actually a bunch, but I'll tell you the ones that first come to mind. So the first one actually happened on, I want to say it was like the first day that we ever started this. So crypto is really good about sensing things before, you know, anyone else even knows that someone's upset. So we're doing our thing. We're walking around, you know, people are petting him. People are loving him. And then he really wants to go towards this person who's sitting down. So we go over to them and they start just kind of loving on him, petting on him like normal. Then all of a sudden they start breaking out in tears. And apparently they were in um, our hometown because they were attending a funeral. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. So, and he's very good about just pushing. And then there's been other times where people have just said, oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. You know, this is great. I love this. Um, and, you know, I like to, you know, I get to, you know, know the people as well a little bit. You know, I'll ask, hey, do you have any dogs? Then, you know, it gets them talking. And mm -hmm. so I feel like that helps a little bit too if they're nervous. Yeah. But, but with kids, he has definitely helped a lot of kids. I don't know if you've ever heard of Granted. Tell me about it. It's basically like Make-A-Wish, but mm -hmm. it's like our local version. Oh, cool. And so Granted um, does these things where they they will send families to Disney. Well, we actually got the opportunity to sit with a family while they were waiting for their flight to go to Disney and they were a Granted family. So it was just really neat because I had never been able to experience that before. 
So that was really cool to see. Um, but, but yeah, anytime that anyone's kind of upset, you know, we don't, we don't push cause you know, some people, um, you know, might just want to, you know, have their own, be there, you know, be by themselves, but we definitely make it known, Hey, we're here, you know, we're here for you. If you're nervous, if you're upset. So we, we just really try to be a good comforting presence for all the passengers at the airport. That is so wonderful. And a reason to fly out of Evansville regional airport he absolutely is and eventually hopefully there'll be even more dogs as well oh nice nice now that being said crypto has brothers yes so he has uh two brothers and two sisters nice. so i have five australian shepherds none of them are blood related but of course they're still siblings because they you know <laughs> they live in the same household and they absolutely love each other and i actually have one of them right here who's sleeping so this is Kai. Aww. He's actually completely deaf. Whoa. That, so that's why he's literally sleeping as I'm talking and putting my you know my phone up to him. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah. So we have there's Kai, Captain, uh, Kira, and Callie. How did you come up with the name of Crypto? Yes. So Crypto is actually Superman's dog. Nice. So that's what I named him after, but he has a C because whenever I got captain or I had captain, I'm like, well, I really want my next dog to have a C. And I'm like, well, why can't I just change it to a C from a K? So I did. Crypto's uniform for the airport. Did you help pick that out or did they, did they get that for you or? So, um, I helped, they got it for us, but I did help with, um, just giving them some input, giving them some designs. So his vest, it only goes like from his head to like the middle of his back instead of like a full on vest. And the reason being is because therapy dogs are dogs to be pet. Mm -hmm. And if you have a full vest on, well, that's covering petting area. Yeah. So that's why he has a small vest on. And then he has a cute little bandana. Um, it's blue and has, you know, the little paw print on there. Um, but yeah, so it, it was just kind of like a collaboration. The airport definitely did the majority of it, but I just gave him some ideas. Now, Crypto is doing so much wonderful work in the world. He is a hardworking dog. Not only can you find him at the airport, where else can you find Crypto? So you can also find him um, at his day job, which is Heart to Heart Hospice. And so he goes to work with me just about every day. And there's some days where we just hang out in the office, do office work. But the majority of the days, we are actually out in the field visiting patients. So he gets to brighten the lives of hospice patients and their families. And it it definitely makes a difference mm -hmm. because especially if the patient's in a facility, you know, they may have had an animal in their life or maybe they still do and they just don't get to see them anymore. Yeah. And so whenever you actually bring a dog in, it just, it brightens their day. Mm -hmm. And I've been in facilities before and nurses have stopped me and they're like, hey, would you mind to go see so-and-so? Not even one of my patients. Of course, we still went. Um, but it, it would always brighten their day whenever we came. You know, the, the nurses would be like, hey, they're having a really bad day. And it, it just changes, it changes them. You dress your dogs up for Halloween? I do, I do. So last year, Crypto went as a dragon. And Kira went as a little witch. Uh, Kai went, at, went as a bee. And then the other two went as a cowgirl and then a cowboy. But my favorite is whenever I had just the three boys, I had them all dress up as the three little piggies. <laughs> awesome. It was just really cute. If Crypto could turn human for a day and take a human position at the airport, what would he work in? I would say he would probably be the person that is um, getting the tickets and, you know, sending everyone on the plane. So the reason for that is because he gets to say hi or bye to them, you know, as they're getting on their plane. It's like a last hello. <laughs> so I, I think that's what he would want to do. Um, yeah. How does owning a dog affect your mental health? I honestly really, really love it. Of course, that's why I have five. Um, don't get me wrong. You know, there's some days where they might be really hyper, you know, for we're, we're taking a little break and we're playing. Um, but it's honestly helped a lot. Like 
you know, different things have happened in my life. Um, I'm, you know, recently divorced and just having their, them there's comfort is just amazing. And Australian shepherds are really, really good about sensing emotions, especially crypto. And anytime that I'm upset, they all just pile on me. <laughs> <laughs> so it is the cutest thing ever though. Um, but, but they, they really have helped me because, you know, there's some days that might just be really hard. Um, you know, maybe something happened and you can't just look at them and not be happy. Now, uh, how many tricks does Crypto know? He knows a good handful, but his absolute favorite is spin. I don't know why. I mean, he knows sit, down, stay, spin, tunnel. I've done agility with them. Um, you know, I've done a lot of different tricks with them, but spin for some reason is it. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, that's my trick. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What are Crypto's top three dog treats? Ooh, Wiggles and Wags is his absolute favorite. Um, that is a brand, and we always get it from PetSmart. And then he loves um, Pup Cups from like Starbucks or from Dunkin' Donuts. So that's really his favorite too. And then anything that just like is chewy. So any kind of just chewy treat. What are Crypto's top three dog toys? Oh. He loves like those con balls. Mm -hmm. So there's like small, medium, and large, and all of them. He just loves them. <laughs> um, he also loves, I cannot remember the brand, but they basically make different kind of characters. So some might be like emoji, some might be a pizza, some might be an avocado, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. He loves that, that line of toys. And then a third one is um, he loves anything that resembles a stick. Cool. Yes, so I know different brands make like stick dog toys. Yeah, that that's his. <laughs> <laughs> what are Crypto's favorite places to walk? He loves to actually go hiking, so we actually we do that a lot. And then he loves just to kind of just go to different parks, just different areas, because you know there's other animals there typically. You know, lots of people. And then the other place he loves loves to walk is, um, of course, anywhere he works. <laughs> <laughs> the airport, <laughs> any facility we're, we're at or we're in. Um, but but I would say places that are just pretty relaxing. Sometimes we go by the Evansville River as well, and he really enjoys it. What are your top three tips for anyone looking to train their dog as a therapy dog? Definitely do the research. So what I mean by that is, is, you know, don't just, you know, say, hey, I'm going to pick this dog and then I want to go ahead and go do all the therapy dog work. Definitely know your breed. Um, you know, even if you already have a dog, totally fine. You know, just because different breeds take different types of training. You know, not not a bad thing at all, but you just want to make sure that you know, okay, is this dog more, um, could this dog maybe be more stubborn or is this dog easier to train? The other thing is, you know, to definitely look at different facilities because there's a lot of places that, you know, you could train your dog. And then to definitely look at the different organizations as well for therapy dogs. So some are better for different things than others, vice versa. Um, and then know that you should be committed to it because it does take, you know, about a year, give or take, um, for the training process. And you definitely want to be consistent. Is there any cool stories that we didn't touch on that you'd like to share? Actually, there's a few that I'll tell you. I sort of mentioned earlier that he's called some people out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a few different stories and one of them is it was just a typical day in the office and crypto loves everyone but there's certain co-workers that work with me that he is like I love you you are my person like let's play let's do something let's hang out he's really excited to see them and one time he saw um, this person and he walked into my office and Usually crypto's all excited. You know, he's like, hey, I'm like, you know, you're here. Yay, yay, yay. Look at this toy. Well, no, crypto was all of a sudden therapy dog mode. And I just looked at him and I'm like, are you okay? And he said, no, I actually just put my dog down last night. So crypto knew that something was going on. Aww. And it, yes. And so, again, he's done stuff like that. Um, he, I, again, I never like push. I never, you know ask you know hey you know well, what what exactly happened none of that but i can usually definitely tell if there's something going on just by looking at crypto because of his body language his signs mm -hmm. um you know he's being a little bit different and then the other one was actually whenever he first was a therapy dog 
And this is my favorite story and it shows the power of therapy dogs. So um, it was just a normal day. We were at a facility and there was a girl that had been in some kind of accident. She was younger. Um, and so we go over there and I basically put crypto on like this platform that was right next to her because she was basically paralyzed. She couldn't move. And so that was, you know, again, just as close as I could get, get her to. And so I figured, you know, we'll just be here. We'll talk to her. You know, crypto can just kind of be there as a little bit of support while, you know, the nurses do their thing. So we're sitting there for about 45 minutes and towards the end of it, again, this girl really could not move very much. Well, by the end of it, this girl was able to lift up her arm and go like this. Aww. Wow. And I love it. And the other things that he does is we actually uh, go to grief group as well every Thursday at my work. And so we have a bereavement coordinator and she's the one that hosts it. And the grief group is, is for anyone that has a loved one that passed away. It doesn't have to be like on our services, but just anyone in general. Mm -hmm. And so he goes there and he's really, really helped the people that are there as well. Just kind of comforting them, just yeah. loving on them. And I, I've definitely seen a big change and it's it's nice. The love of a dog, it, it's wonderful. So thank you it, for be, doing what you do. It's so cool that you did that. So other people, strangers get to experience that every day because the work that you do. I absolutely love it. And I know crypto does too. And a big question that I actually get a lot is how does crypto handle all of it? Because, you know, sometimes he's around people that are happy, sad, um, you know, emotional, you know, maybe something big happened, you know, he takes in so much. And my answer to that is always the same. And I make sure that, that he has fun days. So once a week we go for ice cream. <laughs> so I take him for ice cream. Um, sometimes we might go to like Fazoli's and in the drive through they might give him like a meatball or, or like something. And, you know, I take him on, of course, plenty of walks. He gets to play all the time. Um, I'm lucky and I actually have a really big office where I work. And so I basically turned it into a dog room. <laughs> and nice. so he gets to just run around with all the toys and his siblings if I ever bring them in as well. And so I just make sure that he isn't always in work mode 24 seven. And that is something really important for anyone that wants to do therapy dog work to know, because just like us, we need a break. So balancing that life out with uh, with so much fun because it, it resets them, right? It does. Absolutely. How can people find out how to reach you about crypto or any therapy dog questions that they may have? Yeah. So um, they can reach out to the Evansville Airport, of course, um, you know, the person kind of in charge of the program. Um, she can always, you know, reach out to me that way. You know, if they reach out to her. Crypto does actually have a Facebook page. Um, if you look up Crypto Covington on Facebook, you'll see him. Um, if you also go to the Evansville uh, Facebook page, the Evansville Airport, he's tagged in a bunch of stuff. So you can see him that way. And you can always, you know, just send, send a message through there. Obviously, I'm, you know, I check it. <laughs> So I'd be able to see, but I do want to share this. This is the card that the airport gave him. And every passenger <laughs> that crypto sees gets this. Oh, wow. They all get yeah. it. Wow. That's yep, awesome. Yeah, they all get it. So it has this cute little picture. And then on the back has all of his information. So just his date of birth, um, where his day job is, heart to heart. Um, his favorite activity swimming <laughs> and his pet peeve favorite place favorite tree there's just a bunch of different things on here it's just something cute for them to have and yeah. you know hopefully also just brings an extra smile uh amy covington thank you so much for being on the show on industry pets we are so happy to have you and get to know crypto today of course thank you so so much for having me